Greetings in the most wonderful and precious name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We want to <clears throat> welcome you this morning after a great weekend of the commemoration of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We just want to thank you for your patience and thank you for your commitment and those who have subscribed to this um, <clears throat> telecast. We truly appreciate what the Lord is doing to you. May the Lord bless you. May all the words that we teach through this telecast be able to prosper in your lives. And every good thing and good word that we are expecting in your life, <clears throat> and let that word function and prosper in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. <clears throat> Today we're going to continue with the, this spirit of fear. We say God has not given us the spirit of fear, but he has given us the spirit of love and of power and of a sound mind. Now, we were talking about the principles, principles that govern fear. And I think our most focus was that when the Bible says that in Romans chapter 1, in the Bible says that is therefore now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus, who do not walk according to the flesh, but according to the Spirit. For the law of the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made me free from the law of sin and death. And now, it is not just to mention that the law of sin and of death, it has got its own source. And if you revisit the Bible and go back to the book of Genesis, it is clear that it will tell you how we are supposed to, um, to react and behave and respond I mean, to this, I mean, to, to this uh, uh, spiritual laws that are in operation on earth. Mm. The law of the spirit of life, which is found in Christ Jesus. This is <clears throat> the law <clears throat> that is so important. And the other one is the law of sin and death. And I always say that those two things, they are inseparable. Now, in other words, they are always together. Where you find sin, you do find death. Mm. So every human being today is governed by either of the two spirits. Whether we like it or, or we say, no, I'm not governed by those two spirits are governing us while we're here. Now, I just want to bring clarity also of the sin and of, of the law of sin and death, where people can begin to say, so it means if I die, then it means I'm governed by that spirit. If I die, I mean a, a, a physical. No, we are all subjected. To, to death, thus the, 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 after the fall of man in the Garden of Eden. Every, I mean, that's where death was proclaimed. And also God made a preparation and prophetically that was fulfilled in the New Testament when Jesus died and paid the penalty of our sins. And Jesus made it clear I mean, there that he who believes in me, I mean, he has passed from death to life. And he made it further to explain that even though he dies, he shall live. So maybe people can say we all die, whether you believe Christ, whether I don't believe Christ, we all die. No, the death that we speak about here is the death eternal. Very important. So. No, so we are either controlled by those spirits. You know, those spirits that tell you, I mean, if we, the spirit of sin and death, there's no hope in that spirit. Absolutely, you just live, they're hopeless. Anything that comes, you don't find hope, I mean, to resist the enemy because you don't have the spirit of life which is found in Christ Jesus. So, Every human being, like I said, we are either governed by the spirit of fear or the spirit of life. The sad part is that even being born again, 
does not mean that a Christian lives his life under the right law. You know, I mean, the spell of city, the Mumbana God, the spirit of fear, Sikubandi. In other words, this spirit, if you are not sure about your salvation, that spirit will always have a way. Because I can call myself a Christian, but that spirit only knows the spirit of fear of, of, of sin and death, knows Christ who lives in the heart. And if it sees Christ and not just Christ, but if you are filled with the spirit of God, then is then that spirit has got no part in your life. So a law, if we can look at the law, is an established principle that can be expected to function the same way every time. If you are governed by the spirit of life, I mean, in which is in Christ Jesus, it is expected that law to function the same way every day. You need to, you, you are going to prosper in that way. Whenever you apply the word of God against any an enemy that attacks you. That word is going to stay. It will fight for you. But first of all, you need to understand the weapon. You need to operate under the law and be guided by the principles of that law. The principles of that law, you have to receive Christ as your personal sin. And you have to be filled with the Spirit of God so that you can resist the enemy. And the Bible does not make any doubts. Is it going to happen? Or maybe it says the enemy is going to flee from you. Because when you use the word of God, the word of God is there. When we have received that Christ filled with the Spirit of God, those words, and they become <clears throat> or, uh, weapons in the spirit and the enemy which is which operates with the law of sin and death knows the power of those weapons of that weapon which is called the word of god that has come into a life <clears throat> of a believer and this time around you take that word and you use it against the enemy if there's something that says I am going to die. You reject that thought by the word of God. Word of God, I mean, speak life, speak life. Those who have found Christ, they have found life. I mean, and the Bible says, it is the spirit that gives life. John 6, verse 63. It is the spirit that gives life. And the words that I speak are spirit and therefore they are life. And we speak those words to each and every family that is seated in those homes. And to say there's nothing that can make you to be shaken. We can follow what we're supposed to do, hygienically wash our hands, and, and whatever they say, 20 seconds washing your hands, and make sure that you have a mask and whatever. But even then, the evidence that there's only one thing that has got power to sustain the life of a human being, the spirit which gives life in the body of, the, of a person. Let us pray. Father, why do you pray for the viewers at home? Oh my God, against the spirit, the spirit of fear, against the law of sin and death, that is governing our nation, governing the world, governing the continent. My God, I pray that we may embrace your word, we may embrace your son, Jesus Christ, my God, so that we have power of God, power to use your word against the enemy. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen.